So we're Harry and Nikki, and we've just flown from London to San Diego to chase our dreams of converting an American school league. Well, what did you say the best price was for it? We just bought this beauty, and they're trying to convert it in 30 days at our Airbnb. How are we going to get all this up? No, we're not. We're not. We've converted two other vans before this, so we hope this one will be our best. So I guess at this point, some of you are wondering, why are we doing all of this? And I think the answer is freedom. Because we've kind of become traveller hippies, where we no longer love the idea of sitting at a desk five days a week spending time on things that don't really get us going. And since doing our two other camper van conversions, we've realised that there is money to be made in van builds. And in our case, this money is spent on more travelling. And money aside, there is so much to be said for the satisfaction that comes from making something with your bare hands that you end up using as a home. And that is exactly the plan for this story. But anyway, if this type of content floats your boat, then just keep watching. And maybe even follow our Instagram. At The Vambitious Project. See the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Welcome to a sunny San Diego. And if you haven't gathered already, we bought a schoolie. Woo! <laughs> this week is all about finding our feet with our new schoolie and starting on the build. It took us a while to get our head around how wide the bus is especially compared to the UK buses. So wide, compared to English vans, this is, I think, eight foot wide. So we spent a good hour taking it all in, finding some new cool things, fiddling around with the driver's buttons, Thank you very and much. receiving Cheers. Amazon parcels, the first of many. Go. <laughs> I got a, what did I get? Then it was time to get our hands dirty, ripping out time. As with everything in these van builds, ripping out the seats wasn't as simple as we thought. It actually involved me having to go underneath the van, holding the nuts in place, as Nikki released the bolts from inside the bus. It's a bit mucky down there. Very mucky, look at his hands. I think the plan is now, what me and Nick's just said, is that I think you're gonna go and edit. Yeah. And I am gonna use this ratchet and get some more bolts out and try to loosen all these chairs. So we're gonna set up a time lapse and speed this up a bit for you. After some dirty hands and a bruised head, we decided to chill out and leave it for the day. Well, I think it's fair to say that hurt like a fucking bitch. The next day, our amazing Airbnb host Nelson invited us into his garage and granted us free reign of all his tools. We really have lucked out. Here's some little bits. Oh, what amazing! So day two of our schoolie conversion begins. Come on, get it. It was also really cool to find out that it's not just us who are excited about our schoolie conversion. Our new neighbors are too. Building a camper? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. I knew I. Look, my granddaughter goes, there's a school bus over there in the front yard. It's so, <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. Papa, what is going on? So they're probably building a camper. Yeah, we are. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Right on, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. You we probably fun. scored on it, too. How much did you get it for? Heck yeah, right on. Thank, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This keeps happening, and it's so nice because like people just keep coming up and being like, are you guys converting? It's yeah. just like, you would never get that in England. <laughs> Bye. So we've watched a, lo a load of other people whip up their flooring in their schoolies and it's so easy but because this is a 2012 bus The glue is still sticky The glue is so <laughs> sticky so this is going to be a mission but we're going to get through it Two hours later So I think we've decided guys, call us lazy, call us what you want But this stuff is not coming off so I think what we're going to do is we're going to clean it up, make it look really nice. It's super thin anyway. And then uh, start and think about going over it with some stuff. Laminate flooring or something, yeah. Since most of the ripping out had been complete, a Home Depot trip was a necessity at this point. No. Home Depot trip, let's go. Thank you very much. 
Let's go home then, shall we? Let's go home, baby. Oh, I've got a passenger. Thank you. On the bus. Is this the driver? Two hours later. Stop smelling your sister's bum. So we've realised we haven't yet introduced you to Nelson's dogs. This is Yoshi, Izzy and Jack. And they have completely stolen our hearts this trip. And this evening, Nelson kindly entrusted us to walk them. So we're going to take these absolute gorgeous boys and girls out on a walk. So apparently, look, he always runs away when you get his lead. Apparently, That's this is a thing. Weird. Nelson said it's for attention. Yoshi pretends he doesn't want to go on a walk. Is he but he's going to come. He... Jack's two back legs are not fully working anymore. He's quite an old boy. So after attempting, but failing at putting Jack in this man bag. Oh, you okay? <laughs> and Yoshi playing way too hard to get. We decided that it's just Izzy that would be taken on a walk. All right, Izzy, say goodbye to the schoolie. So it is day three of our schoolie conversion and we are about to start the flooring. We have just been to the dump with Nelson at the local San Diego dump and we've got rid of all of our seats and all of the rubbish we've got from the walls. Um, and now we can finally start on the flooring. Flooring time. Starting with an underlay. Underlay, underlay. Underlay, underlay. <laughs> underlay, underlay. So, let's get down to laying the floor. Nice, this flooring looks good. Yeah, it's really nice actually, I like it. I fancy a takeaway. Yeah, let's get some dinner. I'm hungry. It's been a long day's graft, to be fair. I thought you were going. So I don't know if any of you guys have done van builds, but whenever we go to bed and the next day we get really excited to go out and see what we've done. Whoa, there it is. It just feels so nice and like solid. I love it. Hoosh! So, our plan for now is to get some measurements done, to get some uh, plywood cutouts made across the width of the van and then stick our cladding to it, screw our cladding to it, so we can get some nice long cladding lengthways across this ceiling. Guess how we ended day five of our schoolie conversion? Third trip to Home Depot in four days. I think we said we're going to start a running count. So yeah, we need to really. Going. So it's day five of our schoolie van build. So we are doing our walls today. We're putting the MDF that you saw us buy from Home Depot yesterday up against the bottom of these walls and we're also going to block off some of the windows. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So today is day six of our van conversion and today we are in a grinding mood so we're not going to be faffing about with the camera too much so it's just going to be a nice long time lapse. 
So enjoy watching us sweat. So, day seven, officially the last day of the first week of our schooly conversion. Wow, it's gone so quick already. Today involved a few different activities. We started the day buying tons of electrics on Amazon, which is always quite nerve wracking, spending a lot of money with just one click of a button. And for those interested in converting a van in the USA, we've made Google Sheets for all of the products we've bought for this build from Amazon. We then decided today would be solar panel day. Normally a dreaded day for Harry and I, as we both hate heights. But, rather conveniently, today was a bit breezy. It's usually the windiest day, San Diego, is it? Yeah, it is, and it's quite overcast. I'm not sure if we've been there for the first day. So we decided that cleaning the roof would suffice. We swiftly moved on to adding more cladding, since we were able to thread the light wires behind the cladding successfully yesterday. <laughs> and would it really be a complete day working on the schoolie without a neighbour popping over to see our progress? I've been watching, I'm Nelson's neighbour. What was your name? Scott. Scott. Scott, nice to meet you, Scott. Like I Star know. Trek, beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Yeah. Nikki. Nikki, Nikki that's Harry. Even. Harry. Harry? Yeah, like the prince. So, we finished all the cutting we could at this point. So, of course... Another day, another trip to Home Depot. I know, I, I think we've lost count now. It's day seven, I probably think we've gone five times now. Yeah, five times. It's not too bad. Do you want me the bag? Uh, we'll be all right. um, No, we're okay. Thank you, though. Thank you. So, we've just left Home Depot, and we're at Panera Bread, and we've done the sign-up thing for $10 a month where you get unlimited drinks. But it's actually first three months free, so it's all good. It's all free, zero dollars. Okay. I mean, it means we're getting free coffee for three months, <laughs> three really. Months. <laughs> yeah, three months, so that works pretty well. So you get you're meant to pay ten ninety nine for unlimited coffee, unlimited iced coffee, unlimited lemonade. Lemonade, iced coffee, iced tea, tea. It's crazy. They probably have English breakfast. I don't know how they make money from this. I don't know why everyone doesn't sign up for it. Apparently they started it, they started it in COVID, but... They just haven't ended it and we're going to rinse it for yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, Free yeah, coffee yeah. for three months. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. So that is all for this week, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. We're actually looking for some recommendations of where to visit up the West Coast when we finish this bad boy. If you guys are as excited as we are for next week's video, we're going to run some clips now from that just to give you a little teaser. But yeah, see you next week. Now. I saw the video, Nelson sent it over. So today is Australian, yours is significant. And tomorrow it could be like American or it could be um, Indian. Indian? Here you go, babe. I just don't know what we're going to do at this point.